Hello everybody! Today we will discuss something about electronic components. There are a lot of things to say about each component, but first of all, let's find out what is an electronic component. An electronic component is a device that is used to affect electrons or their associated fields. Each component has a number of electrical terminals or leads that are used to connect to other components or to create an electronic circuit. Think about how the Great Pyramids of Egypt were built using just blocks of rock. The rocks themselves were nothing, but when combined with a careful design, they formed such grand structures. Similarly, you need to know about the basic electrical components and how they work together to create wonderful modern electrical systems. This is why if we want to build any electrical project, we have to know what components we can use, how do they look like and how they work. Just like building a house and knowing what are the materials. The first thing to know is that electronic components split into two big branches, passive components and active components. A passive component is an electronic component that responds to the flow of electrical energy and can dissipate or store it. These components are indispensable in any electronic circuit as they have a high importance even if their function is easy to understand. You can think about the bricks when building a house, a simple yet indispensable item. The resistor, as its name suggests, it resists the flow of electrical current in a circuit. The capacitor stores electrical energy in an electrical field known as charging and can release it later when needed known as discharging. The inductor stores electrical energy in a magnetic field allowing direct current to flow through it but not alternating current. Transformers used to transfer electrical energy by means of a changing magnetic field. Fuses, switches and relays are used to connect or disconnect the circuit. Unlike passive components, active components can, generally speaking, inject power into a circuit and are able of electrically controlling and amplifying the flow of electrical current, whereas passive components cannot. Active components require a source of energy, typically in the form of a direct current, in order to perform their specific functions. They are able to manipulate the flow of electricity in some way. Diodes usually permit electricity to flow in only one direction. Transistors are mostly used for amplifying electrical signals or as switching devices. Integrated circuits, chips or microchips are multiple complex circuits on a circuit board and are used to perform all kinds of tasks. Display devices such as LCD, LED and CRT displays are also considered active components. And maybe the most obvious active components are power sources such as batteries and other sources of alternating current or direct current. We are surrounded by these tiny electronic elements in everyday life. They are hidden inside lights, sound systems, computers, phones, cars and many more. Knowing the components is the very first step into building your own devices as each one has its own importance, but united can give our world a new meaning. Therefore, let's stay united like electronic components, so we can build something great in this channel. You can either act like passive components and support us by only subscribing and liking, or you can be active and also comment and share this video. Each one, passive or active, is important and both are necessary to make things work. See you soon in the next video where we will once again learn something about electronics.